Like what's going on YouTube? This is Michael Bickham, Imuna Honey, encouraging you to maintain faith 365. I hope everyone is doing well today. I want to share some verses that pertain to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and how they are separate, yet still one. Starting with Luke chapter 10, verses 22. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wills to reveal him. John chapter 10, verses 29 through 30. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Now, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, states that his Father, and his Father is God, so he cannot be the Father, though they are one. Just as a team operates together, there is a captain, there's a leader, someone that gives direction. God is the one that gives us direction and gives Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, direction. So therefore, they are one. They, are, they move as a unit, a unison. Now, reading from Galatians chapter 1, verses 9, as we have said before, I, so I say again now, if any man is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, he is to be accursed. That's 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 19. Cling to your faith in Christ and keep your conscience clear, for some people have deliberately violated their consciences. As a result, their faith has been shipwrecked. Now, it's important for us to seek God for ourselves, to pray for discernment and understanding as an individual and not to follow another individual because you might like their characteristics or, or the, their knowledge seems or sounds correct. You have to get the facts from God, the source first. And God says to test the spirits and by an individual's actions and behavior, you will know what's true or false. So pray for guidance from God. Read the word for yourself so that you are not misled and be a victim of eternal damnation when the judgment day comes. May the Most High be with you to grant you peace of mind, protection, mentally, physically, and spiritually. May no weapon formed against you prosper, but may the Most High prosper you in all things, beneficial for the glory of His kingdom. In the name of His only begotten Son, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Godspeed.